long as I've been doing this, this is still the number one question that I get. How do you eat healthy on a tight budget? And fortunately, eating cheap does not have to mean eating poorly. I wanna point out two studies done by the Harvard School of Public Health. In one of the studies, they actually showed that it only costs $2.50 more per day to eat really healthy than it does to eat a really lousy diet. Now, that, you know, that's not a lot if it's just you and one other person in your family. Of course, if you have six or seven children, that can add up. It's still a lot less expensive than being sick, missing work, and a loss of productivity. Trust me, I've been sick and I've had all of those things happen. The second study they did at the School of Public Health was they actually showed that people on average throw away and waste more than $400 a year in produce. So if you think that because you're eating really healthy, it's expensive, chances are you're actually throwing away most of the good foods you buy. So I wanna talk about how to avoid having those things happen. The first thing is make sure you have a club membership. Now I know I just got done saying you don't wanna throw away a lot of produce and things like that. But what I wanna point out, and I've actually helped a lot of families come up with this plan, make sure that you co-op with another family, either a family member, someone else you know, a friend, but join in this process, buy product in bulk. Not only is it less expensive, but then you're more likely to use it all. And Costco and Walmart both have organic produce now. What's really interesting, a lot of people say, but organic is so much more expensive. Yes, it can be, it's pesticide free. And what really to get an organic certification becomes expensive because of all the certification process. A lot of companies now are opting not to get their organic certification and instead they'll say pesticide free. So, you know, if you can't afford organic, then at least look at pesticide free products at the very least. Also know the Dirty Dozen versus the Clean 15. So you can go to the environmentalworkinggroup.org, look at their list. They're actually constantly updating it. It's more than a dozen now. I think it's the Clean 15 and the Dirty 17 or something like that, but they're constantly updating it. So if it really is coming down to a choice for you and you do have to make that choice, you can't buy everything organic, know which ones are the most harmful for you to buy if they're not organic or not pesticide free. Look into local farms and buy seasonal produce. They usually have really good deals. Again, you might wanna do this with another person, a family member, because if you buy a big box of product, um, they'll often sell them in just boxes and you have to take what they have. But not only is it healthier for you, it's a lot less expensive. One of my main strategies, make sure you have a grocery list when you go to the store and stick to it. You need to avoid impulse buying. When I talk to people about what they're buying and they tell me how healthy you know, the food is that they're buying, yeah, but did you need it all? And the reason I know this is because I used to do this. When I first started eating healthy, I'd go to the health food store and I would get so excited by all the options and I wanted to try a little bit of everything. I'd get to the checkout counter, it was five or $600. I'm like, wow. But when I would use my list and only buy the product that was on the list, suddenly my bill was like a quarter of what it was before. Another point that the Harvard School of Public Health actually came up with was that people were throwing things away at the wrong dates. They were looking at the sell by date, not the use by date. So many stores, most stores actually have a sell by date or a freeze by date on their product. This is designed not for consumers. This is designed for store managers. This is so that they know when they have to sell that product by or when the person who buys it needs to freeze it by. Now, if it says use by and it has that date, then yes, you wanna pay attention to that. Finally, I wanna talk about prioritizing. And this is the part where people don't like me very much, but it's the truth. So when I talked about, look, if you've got six or seven kids and this is gonna increase your bill by a couple hundred dollars a month, you need to really be paying attention. You do need to be paying attention. But I've never found somebody that I'm working with that I cannot sit down and look at where they're spending their money if they really wanna eat healthy where we can't cut out a couple hundred dollars a month. Most people are going to Starbucks. Most people are going to the movies several times a week or they're going to do other activities. And I'm not saying that this has to be grueling, that you can't do anything fun, that you have to give up everything in order to be healthy. I'm not saying that. But I am saying if you're taking a family of six to the movies a couple times a week, or you're taking a family of six and you're going out to dinner to certain places, you're gonna really increase your bill. You cut out eating out even at a fast food restaurant a couple times a week, you are going to have a lot of excess money to play with.
So I just want you to be honest with yourself. How important is this to you? How much do you want to increase productivity, not call in sick to work, have kids who are performing at their best in school, and not be sick yourself? It's really important to pay attention to these tips and strategies and tools. And I would love it if you have anything that you think I missed or that's worked for you and your family, if you would post it below. Thank you.